Hi guys, my name is Gib and I am a self-taught artist. And today we're gonna to be painting a watercolor orchid. So come and join me. First, we're gonna layer on some basic color. Um, we have some, these are Newton color that I'm using. Uh, I'll have the supply list in the description below. But I usually work on something small, like these little buds, just so that I can get a little bit of confidence before I work on the main feature flower. Um, it just builds a little bit of confidence. I'm using a round brush. The size is a four, and um, I'm just mixing some paint that I had pre-mixed before. Um, now I'm going to be filling in the lateral petals of the orchid with a basic base color. Um, this is supposed to be a pastel orchid, so I'm just using my lighter tone. I always use the lighter tones first and I, I use add a little bit of water to kind of push the color around and I'm trying to think about where is it going to be light, where is it going to be a little darker. Um, because I sketched it a little bit earlier lightly so I could see the forms, I can know the limit of where I want to stay. And I'll define the petals a little bit more towards the end, but in the beginning, right now, I'm just trying to get a base color. So, you know, if you go a little bit too dark, because it's water, all you have to do is add some more water and then come back and pull it to where you want it to be. Um, now I'm getting ready to, to pop them some, some more of the orange colors for my buds. And sometimes what happens is you, you have to wait for your layers of water to dry a little bit. You can do wet on wet and you can blend the colors a little bit more or you can wait and have it be dry so that the second color you add is more vibrant. So now I'm just going to add some details uh, like the strokes of, of the, the, the bud texture. You know, and I like to leave a little bit of things white, so it's like a natural highlight. So I'm okay with not filling in every aspect of the interior. Um, I'm just kind of thinking of where is it going to be warm colors. Now I'm adding color to the lip, popping in some warm colors with my orange tones. Yellow, orange, orange, some little bit of brighter warm tones so that um, the center of the orchid starts to um, have some forms. I'm pushing the yellow around to the buds. So when you start to layer on the colors, if you think the color is a little too bright, just add some water and then push it around a little bit more. And if it's still bright, take a little bit of paper towel and kind of dab it while it's wet and it acts, it, it soaks up the color. Um, now here I've stroked some green for the stem, but it didn't like how bright it was. So I just added some water added some new color and went on top of it and that bright green went away and so now I'm kind of defining some of the other stems that lead to my buds so that um, looks very delicate that's what I'm, I'm trying to go for a more of a delicate look here and that's why I did the sketch beforehand so that I can kind of see my form and then if you are sketching really lightly, the, the sketch lines will go away. 
So um, I would encourage you to sketch beforehand, get the shapes that you like, and then transfer into mark. Um, sorry, watercolor paper. That way you can give yourself a nice light outline. Now I'm going to add some more um, the brighter pinks to the lip so to really make that pop and then I'm adding a little bit of color underneath the um, the petals where I feel like it's gonna be layered so now we have more um, brighter pinks that I'm adding and then I'm starting to do a little bit of a dash dab just to kind of show like the speckled textures of the petals um, the striations of the the organic lines that make up a petal if you look really close at, at a petal it's not a flat surface it's got little grooves it's natural so I'm adding those lightly and you know, I might have put on some color and it might have been too much. So I'm just taking that base color that I added and I'm pulling it down um, and it makes it like I meant to do it. And it is part of the details of the leaves. And so I do a light outline around the edge and even add more water and pull the color so that I don't have to remix it, but use the existing color that I already laid down um, and just extend it, extend the life of that color. And now I'm adding uh, a little bit of color to the perimeter of each of the petals to define it a little bit more so that you can see it. And this makes it easier so when I have to edit this in Photoshop um, so that I can use it as clip art for my um, different products it just makes it a little bit easier because it encloses the white space and so now I'm defining the edges a little bit more underneath the, the petal and part of the column and the lip of the orchid so this is like my finishing touch so that it makes things pop. I really like it when there's variations and you can see, you know, very light tones, you can see medium tones, and you can see the dark tones. So even if it's still a light flower, you'll see pops of a darker color just so that um, different elements are um, in focus. have it guys this is my approach to a watercolor orchid I hope you found something that you could use in your own painting and if you like um, what you saw then make sure to subscribe and I will um, that way you can see the new videos I create thanks so much for joining me